What is going on guys? It's Nintendo Freak 343 here. Welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. This is part 7. In the last video we got to Dodongo's Cavern. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and get that one piece of heart up at the top of the Dongo's Cavern. So I'll meet you there in just a sec. Alright. So we're here at the top and what you want to do is you want to take this bomb, throw it over here. Make sure you're perfectly angled. You want to kind of, it's kind of hard to get, but back flip over there. The way I did and go up here and you get the piece of heart and you land. Hopefully land on top of the cavern. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. <clears throat> kind of doing a little video tonight before I have to go to work tomorrow. It's about 11. So I have to wake up early. Because I've been to work for... 8 o'clock, go, go in my mom and have a coffee, and then, yeah. So here we are inside Dodongo's Cavern. Uh, I showed you a little intro there. Now if you shut the fuck up, or I'll put, throw you in the lava and make roasted fairy for dinner. So what you do want to do is hop on the platform. This dungeon is pretty, pretty lin linear. Um... If you want, you can go over here to the left first. Watch out for the beam on six. They'll shoot lasers at you. Because you know they're firing the lasers! <laughs> I haven't heard that meme in like so long. Actually, no, that's kind of a lie because it's been a few months. I've watched fiend, uh, vines and memes on it and shit. Let's go over here. I believe this is a dungeon map. Yep. You got the dungeon map. Um, sorry if I don't seem very lively tonight. I am kind of tired. Um, usually I'm in bed by now. But I decided to make a video first. Just for the hell of it. Um, this guy, I actually didn't mean to do that. But this guy, uh, if you don't, if you lose your Deku shield, you can come and get one from him. But there's a free one you can get later. I'll show you where it is soon. Oh, can I make that? Yes, I can. So one passes BMO once again, <coughs> and um, go on this platform, and it'll bring you up very, very slowly. It's like Mass Effect. I don't play that. I don't play that game, so I don't know why I made that reference. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have to work tomorrow. Not fun. Um, you can do fun things with these. Um, gossip stones. If you hit it with your sword, I didn't mention this back in Kukuri Village, but it will tell you the time. Um, if you hit it with a bomb, it'll uh, count down and explode. Um, way you can kill this BMO is you throw a bomb at it, and it'll explode. Come on. Yay. There's a switch up there. You can get to it later. Those are uh, bombable walls. You can blow up with bombs. Of course, you haven't played Zelda before. <laughs> I'm being very boring. But like I said, I am very tired. These guys you just hit. Um, I want to come over here because there's a skull tiller we can get. Aw, oh, man. That's no fun. Okay, there's two more over there. So, come in. No, 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 holy shit. What? Well. Really? Hold on, guys. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that, kind of failed to get these guys to freaking explode. Because once you hit them, they'll explode. Let's get the, uh, is that close enough? Shit. Uh why? Why? There, we finally got it. Good God. So what you want to do is come in here, what I was trying to do before they fucked around me. Destroy these three keys. And then 
Your reward will be a gold skulltula. There we go. Oops. We'll be on that wall there. Alright. Going up here. And you guys fuck off. Cause you fuck off. <laughs> then you want to push one of these statues. Doesn't look like you can push them. But you can. So. What have you guys been up to? Like I said, I've been. I've got work tomorrow very early. Uh, thank God I have a friend that I know that I work with. It'll make things a whole hell of a lot easier for me. Uh, so you come in here, and you actually get a mini boss fight with two Lizzle foes. What you want to do is just target on them, jump attack, dodge your attacks, and rinse and repeat. So come on over, come on over. Come on over! Fuck off. <coughs> this area looks really cool in the 3DS version, I will admit. Just the lava there. Looks freaking amazing. Hi. Bye. Dead. <coughs> I'm not talking, holy shit. Ah! Talk, damn it, talk. Come on. Oh, oh you prick. Die. Thank you. Alright, so. That's what's called. You, I, blah, 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 blah. All you gotta do for that fight. Um. Th this should take me maybe two, three videos, depending on how fast it goes. I can get this dungeon pretty fast. Um. What you got here? I. Uh, Zongos, you. Hit their tail. Just watch out because they'll use flamethrower on you if you not if you don't uh, if you hit their tail. They'll basically do a tail whip and then they'll they'll uh, hit you with their flames. Basically what I like to do is just do this and then jump attack. Whoa, okay. Come on, there we go. Two jump attacks to the Tail will kill him. Um, they actually nerfed the power of the Diggy Sticks. Because, um, in the original version, the Diggy Sticks did twice the damage as the regular Kokiri Sword. So, yeah, kind of. That kind of sucks. So, what you want to do is you want to get out the Diggy Sticks. Because. These torches that you see here along the walls, you want to light those and you have to be fast because if your dick your stick is lit for too long, it'll burn out and it'll consume your dick your sticks. So, don't want to do that. Alright, so that switch is out earlier. We can go, it'll bring us out here to do that and it'll open up the door across the room. So yeah, so my friend Keegan is is working now, and we have like very different work schedules. Like I get the weekends off, and I also get random days off too. But um, and he gets all these other random hours. So I forget what this door has behind it. Oh, just nothing important. Just got a chest. Hi! <laughs> Just run past him and get the chest. I think this is the compass, so. Uh, as I used to call him, I was younger, the compass. <laughs> ah, the compass. Compass, compass, ow. The fuck, you is. Alright, buddy, come here. These are our mouse. Just you wanna do what I did there and stop it. So. So, I'm just going there for the com the compass and a few armor, so there's nothing too big. These, you just want to hit the, you want to bomb the, place a bomb in the middle there, and it'll bring down the staircase. I meant so. 
Not bad, not bad. I'm laying on my stomach. It's very uncomfortable. Link is just like, what the flying fucking space just happened? <laughs> uh, whoops. Excuse me. I just farted. I don't like to admit, I don't like to like say that I fart on video, but at the same time, I think it's funny as shit. I'm basically 20 years old, but I think farts and burps and shit are still funny. <laughs> I don't know why, I just do. Alright, so, you want to hit the skull up here. There's another one um, over there, but you can't get it just yet. You have to come back when you're, or, well, later. I don't really want to spoil much. Okay. You got fire keys in here if you're not careful to burn your shield. I'm watching Family Guy, the Star, Star Wars edition. Um, push this guy out of the way. That one's the only one in the room that doesn't move. So... Push the switch up there. There's a glitch that you can do that you can roll and get on top of that. I think that you can only do it in the original version. I'm not sure if it's still exclusive in the DS version. Kill that guy so he doesn't get, screw you over. Uh, I'm going to cut the grass over here to get the more Deku seeds. We're well, we're waiting. <laughs> Put him in. Alright. Uh, this area is pretty difficult if you don't know what to do. You never know if you're around the corner of these narrow paths. Now if you shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you got the shell blades here that'll come and attack you. What you want to do is you want to get up here. Get on this. Turn around. If you want, you can collect the 20 rupees. Alright, this can be pretty freaking difficult. This takes me usually takes me a while. Wow. Oh wow, one try. Lit. So you wanna throw the bomb up there. Sometimes it can be I made that look way easier than what it can be. <laughs> usually takes me quite a few tries. Go down this pathway. You'll find baby Dodongos. And they'll, like I said, they'll explode when you hit them. And you got two more little foes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Deku Sticks on these guys. Because they still go. Oh, would you look at that? So I got half a Deku Stick left. That is lit. Lit fam. I've been saying that a lot lately. I've been hearing other people use it. So I've been use I've It's kind of rub off on me. Hey, buddy. Fuck it. Fuck off. Fuck off. I've been saying that too. I think it's fun to tell things to fuck off. Take that. You're dead. Lit. Come on. And... You can't use your shield when using the Deku Stick because you'll do that. And you'll leave yourself wide open. There's hearts over there if you need them. Um, I don't know why you would. But... Uh, invisible wall? Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, you want to hit these eyes to lower the foot, the wall of fire? You know, the ring of fire. The ring of fire. <laughs> go across there, and you will get the item of the dungeon. <clears throat> you got the bomb bag! You, this... Bomb holding bag is made from a Dodongo stomach. Found 20 bombs inside. Alright guys, so um, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm getting up there in video time. Um, if you like this, we got the bomb bag and got halfway through Dodongo's cavern in this video. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I try to make this as exciting as possible. <laughs> Bye guys.